Hey guys, welcome back for another reaction. This time we'll be reacting on Wine Trash. She put up a first day of school vlog and we're going to take a look at it, guys, okay? Hit the thumbs up on your way in and let's go ahead and jump right into the reaction. Okay, guys, so, hold on. So she started off the vlog. She's going to eat for about three minutes, so we're going to go past that part and jump right into get the getting ready part, okay? All right, so. No? Oh. You gotta go to school, though. You ready to go to school? You still sleepy? And you go to sleep. Mommy, just don't put your clothes on, okay? No, I need it. <laughs> Why you looking at Bobby like that? The coat? Yeah. Get, put your shirt well, on. Guys, I don't have a problem with her helping a four-year-old get dressed in the morning. I understand little kids, when they're that little, I'm going to say like four and five, like kindergarten age, they are like, in the morning, it's hard to get them up. But he should be dressing himself at this age. At four, you should be able to put on your pants, um, your socks, and your shirt at least at four. At five, yeah, four and five, that's the age where, you, where you're where you dressing yourself. Sometimes kids are doing it at three, okay? Kids start wanting to put on their socks at two. So I don't think it's, it's, this is why you're always so stressed out. You have to do everything for these kids. He's four years old. He has two brothers and sisters that are older. You have four kids. He needs to be more independent. But I know that kids are hard to wake up in the morning, so I'm not gonna fault her for that, but let's continue. I don't know, I ain't got your shirt. Ah. Your shirt gotta be in there. Got it. Like, like, I'm here yet. Oh, oh she's. Boy. Oh, she got in my eyeball. Let's do it. He's still sleepy. I'm probably going to fall asleep on the bus anyway. Don't, because they got other places to go. And I want you to get off the fucking bus. <laughs> Y'all hear that? For real. Y'all hear this? 
Did y'all hear that? Wait a minute. Let me rewind that real quick. That was an unnecessary aggression. Boy. Oh, she got in my eyeball. <laughs> it burns. Let's do it. He's still sleepy. I'm probably going to fall asleep on the bus anyway. Don't, because they got other places to go. And I want you to get off the fucking bus. <laughs> I'm joking. No, just for real. They leave kids in the bus and they die because it'd be too hot. They die? Yeah. Kids on the bus and they die. Because I want you to get off the effing bus. That's what she told her son. Then she followed it up with a stupid SSA comment saying, because it be kids on the bus and they die. What are you, girl, what are you talking about right now? What are you talking about right now? You could have simply said, stop playing with me. It's too early for all of that. I want you, I don't want you to miss your stop. That's it. Because I want you to get off the effing bus because it be kids on the bus and they die. What? See how she, my child's and mom, she instills paranoia and fear to make it seem like it's a problem all the time. Why would you tell your kids that kids die on the bus if they get left on the bus? What, where, when, and how? When is, where is this happening? Because I, I have never heard of that before. Mommy wants you to get out of the school bus and be, oh, take that, this off. It's on the side. Where? Look for it, Robert. Can't see it. It's not. I, I already took it off. What time is it? How much? It was, it was on my shirt. No, it's not. It's right there on your pants. Where? Oh, I'm faded because I I can't see it. Come here. Right here. No, come here. Why? Is it still? Come here, close. <laughs> A little piece, yeah. It's on when she's in there. You ready for school? And now you're ready. Yeah. Oh, when they back. Too bad. Oh, Nyori. For me. Because they have more stricter rules. You like when I rub his back. You like that? You itch? Mm -hmm. Good job. What time is it? Uh, I'm on the table. No. I'm guessing. Don't guess. Definitely at 7. It's 7. Sending her with a change of clothes, probably because he's gonna have an accident. Probably because he's not potty trained. I did see that he didn't have a pamper on, but remember, she's still buying size six diapers in a recent video. I'm gonna say as recent as about four months ago. Hey, coming out of this not this the first Oh, 
excited. Well, they're not working in that boy thing. I go all through a whole back with. Well, I, saw, I saw a person get smacked in the head by a roller coaster. You know the, the spinny thing that could go upside down? Me. Uh, me. I was. What are y'all the customers? I was. Alright, they show up at the. Oh, shit. I'm back to draw. Hey, so, Mom, the boys are tomorrow, all right? Okay. Come on, hurry up, hurry okay. up, because that bus to come. Okay. It was 747 when I looked, and I won't try to be out there by 750. Okay. Bye, because y'all My shoe was stuck like that. It'll be all right. Okay, I'm out. Let's go get my iPad in my phone. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me put this. It looks so handsome. You handsome? Right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Wine Glass. This is another morning routine. And now you're already tripping. Well guys, so this is one of the videos that everybody was upset about because of the title. First day of school. In the life with a super busy mom trying to manage by myself. This is one of the titles that got the whole, I'm not talking about Bay saga, started. All right. She's sick of people asking her about Bay. As we can see, do you guys hear Bay in the background? Because he ain't there. Because the nigga don't live there. All right. Let's continue. She it, she get ready later. Come on. Let's get your book back. I'm going to get I gotta take them to the bus. They bus come at 7.50. So here now, Yori, where you going? I'm finna whip y'all. Y'all, they I mean, my teeth. Look, I just wiped his face and now it's back disgusting again. Let me hurry up and clean his face and I'll be right back. All right, so we out here, y'all. It's their first day. It's cold in here. It's cold out here, mm -hmm. so I don't like it. It's their first day of school. It's still summer, right? I think it's fall already. Y'all hear that? It falls like around November. Y'all hear that? Let me let me rewind it in case y'all didn't hear it for the people in the back. Let's go. I'll fit it with y'all. Yeah, they I mean, my teeth. Look, I just wiped his face and now it's back disgusting again. Let me hurry up and clean his face and I'll be right back. All right, so we out here, y'all. It's their first day. It's cold in here. Hold on, I don't like it. It's their first day of school. It's still summer, right? I think it's fall already. You got four kids. You done birthed four kids for a whole bum out here. And you don't know when fall starts. Fall does not start. The first day of fall in 2024 will start September the 22nd. Sunday, September the 22nd. But this kid is smarter than her because look what he says. No, so it falls like around November. I don't know. At least he has enough <laughs> sense to know that it's not fall yet. Just because it's cold in the morning doesn't mean that it's fall. But that's what I'm saying. Why even answer that? I thought you lived in the suburbs. There's an air conditioning unit hanging out the window right here. I don't know what that is, y'all. I don't know if that's an air conditioning unit or not. But they don't have apartments with these things right here hanging out of the wall in the suburbs. They they don't have these. This is not the suburbs, sis. Don't, don't, I don't know who you think you're playing with right now, but we see this apartment and this is not the suburbs, okay? No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Yep, go to the bus stop. Go. I'm trying to get a Look how you walking, dude. There yeah, you. Not Nayori, you right here. Your bus is coming right here, Nayori. All right, right right, y'all. So the kids is on the bus. It's what time it is? It's seven oh nine. I'm gonna get Malaysia up so she can get in the shower. RJ got in the shower this morning. Nayori got in the shower last night. So um, as May went to sleep before. He got a shower, so I'm going to, I mean, before he got in the shower, before he got in the tub, so I'm going to get him in the tub tonight. I mean, um, 
girl, what are you oh, talking yeah. about? I'm gonna get him in the tub. Um, once the kids leave. So yeah, let me get in there. All right, Liz. Where's Bay? Where's Bay? Wine trash. Let's continue, guys. Because this is, we haven't seen the part where we really want to know where Bay is yet. You say Bay's great, and you guys have such a great, strong relationship, and Bay's your bestie, and you guys can talk about anything. Okay. Malaysia ready. <laughs> Guys, look how trifling this wall is right here. Look at all this. Look at all this. All this. All this right here. Filthy. Filthy. Trifling. This this that wall looks worse than Jasmine's wall. Have we ever, guys, have we do we need to do a poll? Have we ever seen a wall look worse than Jasmine's? I think this is the first in mommy sector history. Trifling, trifling. Look at this, and she showed us this. Why, trash? I thought you were good at editing, sis. Are are you for real right now? Mm, mm, nasty. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute, y'all. It's more nasty wall action. Y'all probably can't see it. But do y'all see all this? Look at this. Nasty and dirty. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. This whole back wall, trifling. This whole side wall, trifling. She ready for school, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, right. And guess who up, y'all? This uh, little boy. Right. Oh, okay. So Esme is up. Now here comes the part where people really want to know. This is why people don't think Bay is there. This is why we keep questioning you about Bay. In case you don't understand, slow, slow. Okay, Lord Dirt Dirt, sit down and get your notepad. Now, the reason why they want to know where Bay at, why Bay don't have a baby. Remember how you say, oh, Bay, I'll take care of the baby and I get the kids ready. Bay does this and I do that. Why Bay can't get him together? You're getting Malaysia together. You're helping Malaysia prepare for a school day. Why Bay can't get him together? Hmm? Where's Bay? He's up for the count, y'all. for you. That's all of it. Give him a shit. Give him for each day. And then after, and then after he's done, I go. Well, after uh, the school's done, I can't wash the, my bell. I need to go. Okay, you ready? Now I'm just going to walk you. So I got to do some clothes. But they're also clothes. Messy. 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 It's messy. Now, Wine Glass. Wine Glass, let me ask you a question, sis. Why are you pretending like this baby actually feeds himself? 
Now, I don't think he's able to lift. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't think he's able to do the whole spoon to his mouth thing yet. I, I really don't. Now, I think if she put a dry bowl of cereal in front of him and let him pick the cereal out and just put it directly in his mouth, that would have been better. But let's continue. Remember, y'all, she's acting like her idol, Jasmine. Okay. Now you see him looking at this bowl of cereal. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Okay, Jasmine. You could eat or no? Okay. Okay. Happy tears out. Now you're going to eat. Eat, eat, Esme. Eat, eat. You want some? Uh, you want some? Something to drink? As y'all can see, this poor baby has no idea what's going on, but that's okay. I think he can pick it up and eat it, but I just don't think he's capable of using that spoon yet. Thirsty? You thirsty? <laughs> it's my hand out. It's my hand out. It's my hand out. It's my hand out. Now, why would you sit a big bowl of cereal in front of him with the drink behind him so he can knock the bowl of cereal all over the place? That's what I'm saying about the common sense factor. It is missing, just like Bay. Uh-huh, brain cells are missing, just like Bay is missing. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I'm ready to go back to sleep, but Malaysia bus coming at 8. I thought you had a job. I thought you minutes. get so paid every two like weeks. How can you be ready to go back to sleep when you have a job? Sis, that's what I'm saying. Do you realize that you're telling on yourself? You're catching yourself in lies. We don't even have to do any work to catch you in a lie. How can you be ready to go back to sleep if you work and you get a paycheck every two weeks? Because you're a liar. Because you don't get a paycheck every week. You don't do anything but sit on your ass all day. Let's be clear. You and Bay. All right. This is this is a rap he can put into his rap. Me and Bay sit on our ass all day. Bars. Okay? Bars. Yeah. <laughs> she ready. Is okay. I'm ready. Let me tell y'all. The boys. <laughs> RJ hey, and Nayori. Hey, what happened? Want Patsy? We already know what the boys' names are. We know that already. RJ and Nayori is the hardest two to get ready in the morning. One, RJ medicine is not working. Nayori, he get crabby in the morning. He's happy, but then he's crabby. So, day at work. I have to literally get RJ physically dressed because he has no medicine. His medicine is not going to work until he gets to school. So, like, at 8 ish, 9 o'clock, his medicine is working. So, when we get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, he's not. He's everywhere. So, you have to get a middle schooler dressed. So, why don't you get up early in the morning and give him his medicine? Get up. Set up. You ain't doing nothing all day. You ain't doing nothing all day long. Set an alarm for four o'clock in the morning. Give him that pill. So by the time he gets up at seven, six thirty-seven, the pill has kicked in. Cause it's no way you should be getting a middle schooler ready for school. I have a middle schooler. He gets himself up and ready. I don't have to dress him. That is ridiculous. Somebody in middle school, she has to get them ready. Come on now, y'all. The excuses are out of control. So I have to physically get him dressed. And then Iori, I have to physically get him dressed too because he's all he's sleeping. Hey, 
He's not a morning person. But Malaysia is very easy to get ready. Um, she does everything like she's supposed to. I have no problem getting Malaysia ready. It's the boys. It's rough. So I was going to give Esme a bath, but I'm really thinking about getting him a bath later on tonight. I'm actually really low-key. Wait a minute. Exhausted. He's repeating. So. Did y'all see she's repeating herself? So you didn't give him a bath last night. You just told us that all the other kids took showers. You said that the kids take showers, the older kids. So it's Nayori, not Esme, Nayori, RJ, and Malaysia took a shower last night. And that you gave the baby, Esme, a bath. Now, you don't know if you're going to give him a bath or you're just going to wait till the night. So you didn't bathe them last night. Which one is it? You volunteered that lie yourself. So don't bother us talking about, oh, why are you guys worried about if my kids take baths? You volunteered the lie and we're checking you on it. You got it, mommy. You're so cute. <laughs> I did her hair yesterday. Come now here. Her show daughter's hair, hair. y'all. I do Come think here. her daughter's hair is really cute. Look at your hair. Like I said, she does cute styles, but keep your own hair cute too, sis. But her daughter's hair turned out really cute for school. I like it. So and it's not too much. She does she does age appropriate hairstyles. Now this girl is way older than Ava. Why does Ava have more hit, hair in her head than this girl? I think she's about eight. I think she's about eight. Something somewhere around that eight or nine. So pretty. So pretty. This is what she wanted, y'all. What is cute hairstyle? I look so cute. Yes, you do. All right, so. This is as um, once he get done eating a little bit, I'm gonna put him on these clothes. I'm gonna wipe him down oh, a little bit cute. and put him on his little outfit because it is chilly. So I want to walk with him and then oh my god, I'm gonna so hard. take her to the bus stop. <laughs> okay, so this is another part. Why are you taking that baby's clothes off? Why are you taking that baby's clothes off on camera? We don't need to see. It is weirdos all over this internet. We don't need to see any naked children or any children being dressed or undressed on camera. It is inappropriate. And Bay has even told you about it, whether you guys can believe it or not. When Bay did live with her, because he doesn't live with her now, let's be clear. Or else he should be getting that baby ready. Why are you getting a baby ready with no clothes on, inappropriate, on camera, acting just like Jasmine? Not understanding why it's inappropriate to have your children on camera getting dressed, wine glass. You should have edited this video and cut this part out. This girl is slow. All right, let's let's move along, guys. We're gonna move on. I mean, she had them on here for about four minutes with no clothes on. Let me fast forward this part. All right. Okay, let's get back to it. Yeah. That's because they bust in the comments. That's probably your bust that they take it out. I put it out front. This is a little tiny. It fits. It's like right down there. Bro, you unzipped the whole book back oh, again. You could have put that shit in their pocket. In the pocket. My wife got the fit of it. Oh, is it? Give it a go. I'm going to take a bath. Where are your pants on? Yeah. Put your pants on. Yeah. Put your pants on. Can you stop yelling and screaming in these videos, please? She does that a lot, too. There you go. It's real weird. And why aren't his socks on first before his pants? Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. No type of common sense whatsoever. Pants on, right? There he go, y'all. Go, go. So wait a minute, did y'all see that? The pacifier dropped on the floor. Pounds Look at this. He picking pacifiers up off that nasty floor and putting them right in his mouth. Look at this. Go, go. Right in the right in his mouth. Floor some floor dirt right in his mouth. Unbelievable. I 
I want to know why he even has a passy in his mouth in the first place when his teeth are already in. What are you sucking a passy for with teeth? There you go. There you go. Ah, I need one more. All right, so y'all. Chicky is walking. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see the house. I take a all right, y'all. Uh, I don't know if I see my address, but the bus is mm -hmm. on its way. We waiting. I waiting here with Malaysia because she's younger. So the bus fit a wrap around and pick her up. You ready, Chick? I can see it. Oh, it's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Also, it's coming that way. Every bus is coming different ways. RJ bus came right here and her bus come at the other spot. So, if they get on the bus, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I'm on my way back home. I'm fit to go take my medicine, relax for a little bit, and then try to this baby right here. I might end up taking a nap because I'm tired. Got up at 6 o'clock. Yeah, I bet you are tired. You and Bay so, was chilling all yeah. night, right? Y'all sit up all night. Drinking and smoking. <sighs> like teenagers. What you in there for? He don't want to go back home. So so I thought I was going to come home and take a nap. But no, I, I forgot I have an appointment at 9 o'clock. It's over the phone. So the baby was acting a fool. How were you going to come home and take a nap if you have a job? That's what I'm saying. Stop talking. Just be quiet. Because you're telling on yourself again. When people have jobs, they have to get up and go get ready and do their jobs, whether they're at home or going to the office. So you don't have a job. You ain't got no job like Tommy. So stop lying on these internet streets. The baby was acting a fool while um, we came back in the house, but he wanted to stay outside, but it's it's all right, y'all. I'm just, I'm tired. I ain't take my medicine yet. I'm gonna take it when it get closer to nine. I need to hurry up and do something with my hair. Like, that's crazy. So, yeah, I do this phone appointment. And then that's it. Okay, y'all, so I took me like a 30 minute nap. I'm up, Esme is asleep. I'm in here editing this video that should have been out a long time ago because I've been braiding hair. So, I need to hurry up and edit this video. Um, and I got a list of things I need to do, um, not for just today, just for everyday purposes. So that's what I'm doing. Usually just wrap up my morning. Um, Another lie to how were you braiding hair? You're a mobile braider. You go to their house. So you wore your night clothes over to somebody's house and then came back and then put Esme to sleep? I don't think so. Another lie. Up and hair won't lunch. So yeah, this is like my morning routine just a little bit. I hope you guys love it. I will see y'all on the next video. I love y'all. Deuces. Okay, guys. Now, before we wrap this up, let's get into the comments underneath that blog because that is what got her in this hot water that she's in now. All right. So wait a minute. Let me see. It says the description. First day of school. In the life, hold on, let me share this with you guys. I'm sorry, let me share it. All right, so here, we're here. It says, first day of school in the life with a super busy mom managing the first day of school by myself. Okay, by myself. That means Bay is not there. So I don't know why you're acting like it's so strange that we think Bay is not there because you said that he's not there. That's why they think it. As a super busy mom was raw and uncut, filled with chaos, stress, and exhaustion from prepping breakfast to last minute backpack checks. Every moment was a whirlwind. Juggling it all alone tested my patience, but I powered through for my kids. Okay? 
Then she says, I'm going to skip the first sentence. I'm also a stay-at-home mom and a full-time work-from-home mom. That's where the lie comes in. Where is the work being done? Because it damn sure ain't here on YouTube. All right, let's keep it going. Hold on, y'all. I want to see the, the comments. Where are the comments under here? Oh, here they go. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go, go further down. So she penned this comment because everybody was asking her. So, so wait a minute, let me read some of these comments in here first before I get to her comment. Please don't dress your children in front of the camera, wine glass. There are way too many weirdos lurking in these YouTube streets. Give your children the privacy they need when getting ready. Let's see what this part says. My kids are not naked. Wine glass, the lady replies. It's not about them being completely naked, but there are some really weird, sick people out there. I'm only saying this out of concern for the children. You will be shocked at how twisted people can be. Remember I said that, guys? It says time from your kids will energize you more than you think. All right, they talking about when the kids go to school. All right, wait a minute, look, this one right here, let's go. Why do you keep bathing, dressing your children on camera? It's inappropriate. It's one thing to vlog, but your children deserve the same respect and privacy that you give Bay. Oh, your children deserve the same respect and privacy that you give Bay. Guys, who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. All right. <laughs> there used to be something genuine and honest about your channel, but you've turned a corner. You're careless with your children's privacy and hostile with your subscribers who rightfully call out things. You can be better and do better. Okay, pixie girl. Okay. Now, let me see. Hold on. She, I don't know if she deleted some of these comments. Let's see. Why is that child not dressing himself? Right, a four-year-old. Is that grown boy still in diapers? Now, y'all know y'all wrong for that. Okay. <laughs> y'all know y'all wrong for that. Let me see what else we got, y'all. Oh, somebody told her when fall begins. Okay. All right. So, hold on, y'all. I think she might have deleted some of the comments. All right. Somebody said, that pacifier is ridiculous. You delay your children just like Jasmine. Oh, wee. Okay, y'all. All right, guys. I had to bring that to your attention before we wrap this up, guys. It has been fun. All right. We will be back soon with another reaction. Until then, I'll see you guys out here in the YouTube streets. Bye.